Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about how the operating system can be used for a uh, different computing environment. So far, we discussed about uh, how many kinds of system and how the operating system that manages all the system. But now, uh, in various uh, computing environment, how the operating system can be used. So now we will compare uh, somewhat in brief about the traditional computing environment and the current computing environment. So if you look at the traditional computing environment, um, so we uh, uh, there will be a typical some uh, one or two decades ago. So uh, there will be a typical uh, office uh, and in the office they will be having one PC that has been connected to your network. And uh, so in that, and we, they will be connected with the two servers, or let it be a file server or the print server. So uh, the remote access was very much difficult to uh, activate all those things in those days, I am telling. And um, the portability can be achieved only through the laptop. So, but... Uh, nowadays, in, in the current computing environment, there are m much more ways to provide the web access. So if you look at this, the web technology and also the increasing WAN technology will uh, provide the flexible ways to uh, uh, web access. So we can access the network very easily in current computing environment. We have the portals. We have the portals uh, in order to access the web easily and also it will give you the more uh, i mean it will give you more uh, uh, much more speed so in the fastest way we can access the network and the network computers uh, will provide the network even for the large organization and the mobile computer can also be connected with the wireless technology and some uh, data uh, i mean wireless uh, data technology is also available now uh, at home, in again, in the traditional computing environment, at home, they have used some slow modem. So, in using only the modem, they have connected to the network. But nowadays, it is not like that mobile data is available. Uh, so, it is actually we are getting a great cost and a great speed, right? So, the fast data we are achieving and it runs at a greater speed even at the home for the personal computers. So, we are actually getting all those things. And so, the we, the normal PC also be connected with the printer or any client PC or any server. So, we can able to connect only with the our own data. So, we can also protect the uh, network uh, through the firewalls so that we are actually performing now. So in the earlier days, that is in the traditional computing environment, in some of the period, uh, some computing resources or uh, in scars, which means they have used only the batch environment and also the interactive environment. So what do you mean by batch environment? So we can execute more number of processes at a time. So the bulk amount of uh, process can be executed in case of batch system. But it will not be no, so much of interactive. So we have moved to the interactive system, which is nothing but the time sharing system. So everything we discussed, right? So what do you mean by time sharing system? So it will give, uh, it will get the input and it will give the response to the user within a short amount of time. So that is what time sharing environment. But in now the that is in current um, computing environment. Um, so this particularly time sharing environment is actually uh, uncommon, which means even in desktop and some of the laptop, we are actually using this time sharing environment. So it will provide the uh, task at the same time. So which means more number of process can be executed for e even for the single user or even the computer has been connected with the multi user. So more number of process will be executed simultaneously. So that can be achieved only through the multiple programming concept and also this time sharing environment so all those things are even uh, n current environment also computing environment also using all these facilities so next we're going to discuss about the mobile computing so what do you mean by mobile computing so mobile computing the we when we are working with the handheld devices 
which is nothing but smartphones or tablet computers which are nothing but mobile computing so the physical feature of this mobile computing environment is portable and lightweight but how it differentiates from the desktop or even laptop so the screen size or even the memory capacity all those we will be having only the minimal uh, memory capacity as well as the screen size or much more minimal than the desktop or the laptop whatever we are using we are comfortable with right so but at the beginning of the uh the evolution of this uh, mobile computing so we ha we just had the mobile within very limited screen size and limited memory capacity and also we don't have much access to the email or the web uh, web access is somewhat minimal in those days right but nowadays it is not like that the current mobile computing environment is uh, actually in advanced stage so which means there will be a lot of advanced features we have in mobile itself people are more comfortable working with mobile than the desktop or laptop because there are a lot of applications whatever we are designing whatever we are creating nowadays it is highly supported in mobile computing environment rather than the desktop or even any other workstation so now this uh, we are not using the mobile computing uh, only for uh, accessing the uh, i mean only for the web access so not only for that we are actually go, uh, using the mobile computers that is handle devices for taking photos playing music playing videos playing games and reading any digital books and even recording high definition video so everything we are just using only with the handle device that is the mobile computing so lot of applications where we are creating and we are designing and that will support even if it will support only with the mobile some of the applications are there right so lot of mobile applications are such as gps so in order to navigate the places so whichever the place you want to go so you can use that kind of application you can go to that place within a very short period right and also one more uh, facility which is uh, uh familiar in mobile computing is nothing but accelerometer which is uh, we are not uh, having the uh, one common feature that is we are not using the mobile in a standard mode so we can also use some other factors like tilting or shaking or rotating so even some other factors also be possible in case of mobile computing so that is what accelerometer even if you want to uh, play any specific games then you can use all these actions uh, not with a normal mode we can also do some other specific actions in order to so like uh, we are not using any keyboard or mouse while playing games we are just using our mobile to uh, different with the different actions like tilting shaking or even rotating right so mobile so this particular factors or uh, uh, much more will be used in augmented reality concept right so the mobile uh, current um, memory capacity of the mobile is nothing but the 64 gb internal memory even we are actually have the 128 gb storage in, in mobile nowadays we are have that much of memory capacity in mobile itself and one more thing what is the operating system we are using in mobile computing environment which is nothing but apple ios and google android so this apple ios will work with apple iphone and ipad well and then um, this google android will also work with any other smartphone and uh, tablet computers right so the next one so due to some power consumption so this uh, particular uh, mobile uh, we are just using a very smaller slower and a fewer processing cores okay so this is what the mobile computing environment so what we are actually doing with that thank you